All right, here's something that you will not see every day. And you won't even see this every year. This is Lower Lake Mary, just southeast of Flagstaff. This is a lake that's usually not a lake. In fact, I was here last summer and I was at the boat launch uh, at the northern end of the basin over here. And back then I was staring at a dry, grassy plain. Clearly right now it's very different. After all the rain and snow we've had here, Lower Lake Mary is filled for the first time in years. And I've never seen water in it before. I don't know how long this will last. Um, probably, you know, at least a few months. We've still got more snow to melt and more rain and snow is on the way. But this is rare, very rare. And, and you can see the, the waterfowl, um, they're here enjoying it as well. And uh, if you look in the distance, at least when I look in the distance, I could be fooled thinking I was in Minnesota or Wisconsin. Isn't that interesting? Because standing water like this is so rare in Arizona. And look at the reflection. Isn't that beautiful? It does remind me of Minnesota because in Minnesota, the, the lakes reflect the sky so well. And in fact, the name Minnesota, this is like kind of a tangent, but the name Minnesota comes from the Dakota term, the native term for sky tinted waters or sky blue waters, something of that nature. And so what I'm looking at right now is just not like Arizona. It really is not. Um, I should note that this is an artificially contained basin. There is a bit of an earthen dam at the northern end there. The water in this lake comes from Upper Lake Mary. At least most of it comes from Upper Lake Mary, you know, besides the runoff that comes from the surrounding hills here that you can see. Um, but Upper Lake Mary is a dammed lake that usually has water in it. Of course, right now it has much more water than it usually has, and it's over flowing its I hear I hear eagles um anyways upper lake mary is probably about 15 to 20 feet higher right now than it was last summer so it's overflowing its uh dam or spillway and the water comes into lower lake mary and the city of flagstaff actually uses lower lake mary as a municipal water source when it does have water so here you go this is a beautiful sight Today the clouds are cool because there's some scattered snow showers in the area, so there's a mix of clouds and sun and snow. Anyways, let's go see Upper Lake Mary. I should note that winter is loosening its grasp up here around Flagstaff, and I saw elk and deer, mule deer, uh, for the first time since last fall. Um, up up here near Flagstaff. It, it was uh, the first time in a long time since they've been up here, and I think it's because the snow's melting, they're coming out of the lower elevations, but I'll insert some video that I took the other day of elk and mule deer, mule deer co-mingling uh, around Flagstaff.
mule deer and elk commingling right here. So that's very cool. A, a herd of elk and a herd of deer. So it's interesting also because I think the last time I was, uh, I made a video of Mormon Lake and Lake Mary, I also saw some mule deer in the woods. You'll usually see mule deer or elk around here. Uh, they're very common, but I, it was a long dry spell without any mule deer or elk um, this winter. But now that springtime is coming back, you know, it's cool to see them. All right, guys, this is an exceptionally rare sight. Never before have I seen water flowing over the dam. It's always been a dead pool. This is Upper Lake Mary. Um, I would encourage you to check out the video I made about Lake Mary and Mormon Lake from the middle of last summer. I'll try to link that in a convenient location for you. But I've never seen water flowing through here. All of this water is flowing into the lake we just took a look at, which is Lower Lake Mary. Lower Lake Mary is the body of water that forms in the basin down there. But this is, this really is, uh, it sounds like an overstatement, but it actually is a historic occasion. The water was probably 20 feet lower last summer. The water in Upper Lake Mary. And I could walk well below the dam on the other side of it there um it, it, it's crazy to think about but this lake is full in fact i could walk across the dam to get to the other side of the lake um last summer and now you can't i don't even know how you would get to the other side without a boat now but look at that white water So since all of this water is flowing directly into Lower Lake Mary, you can only assume that Lower Lake Mary will continue to rise higher and higher and higher. Needless to say, there's lots of visitors today because, like I said, this is a historic site. It really is. It's very rare. So now we'll check out Mormon Lake and kind of retrace my footsteps from when I did a little trip like this last summer. Again, this is just a short jaunt down Lake Mary Road from Flagstaff. It's like 20, 25 minute drive just to get to Mormon Lake. Uh, and that's the last point we're seeing today. But Mormon Lake is a terminal basin, so it's not really connected to Lake Mary, but it'll be interesting to see what kind of water it has in it right now. Oh, actually, as I'm driving past one of these uh, boat launches, the parking lot is actually flooded right here by Lake Mary, so another sign that Lake Mary is very full.
Okay, so we're at Mormon Lake now, and first of all, just some beautiful clouds here, dissipating convective snow showers. Okay, this is Mormon Lake. Can't really see much of it because it's very icy still. There's a lot of snow around. Um, this is the largest natural lake in Arizona, but it's got plenty of more water to get into it uh, through the spring season because there's still plenty of snow to melt in those mountains around the basin here. But yeah, we'll have to come back a little later this year and see how full it is. There's a red-tailed hawk down there. This is actually a great spot to view birds of prey, uh, bald eagles and everything. Um, I don't know if there's fish in this lake. Last summer when I was here, this was just a marsh. Very, very few pieces of standing water um, and probably not of any respectable depth, but I think it'll be different this year. There's something like 20, 30, 40 inches of liquid equivalent in the snowpack on Mormon Mountain back there. Uh, left to, to drain into Mormon Lake. So I think we might have a full lake here this year. Looks a little ominous with some of these storm clouds, but there's also some bright, blinding light coming off the snow in the basin here, so. And it does look like that snow squall is coming in. I can already feel the cold wind and you can see the snow spreading across onto the lake. It's getting dark and opaque. So we're gonna get going. But yeah, I just checked the, uh, there's a snowpack estimation, an official estimate they keep daily for Mormon Mountain, the hill behind uh, the lake here and they are 330% of the 1991 to 2020 median value for snowpack right now. So very much above average as well. Um, so plenty of water. Got a raven right here making fun sounds. So as I mentioned, Mormon Lake is usually not a lake, it's a wetland, it's a marsh. But that still provides a lot of habitat for animals. And in fact, I've seen literally hundreds of elk in the Mormon Lake Basin here before. Um, you know, on the grassy um, bits of the basin, which is most of it in the drier times of year. Um, probably not this year though, like I said, we've got so much rain and snow um, that it's probably going to be a lake this year. But you can get a lot of different uh, types of animals. And even here they, they, they explain snow melt provides most of the water to Mormon Lake before you. After winters with low snowfall and higher than normal summer temperatures, Mormon Lake may dry up completely. So in the past few years that's kind of been the rule rather than the exception. coming down now, wind's blowing across the road. Nice little burst of snow. Alright, so that was our little tour of Upper and Lower Lake Mary as well as Mormon Lake here in the Coconino National Forest of Northern Arizona, the Arizona High Country, uh, just southeast of Flagstaff. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. I'll see you guys next time. Pretty good snow squall. And just like that, the snow is done. Probably be on and off for the rest of the day. And it starts again.